Hello everyone and happy Tuesday. Welcome to my car, I guess. <laughs> so I just got done at the gym as you guys just saw. I for some reason took some clips at the gym because I go to the gym every time before um, the bins. But I am at the bins now. So ignore if I look like garbage. It's because I was just sweating and dying working out. But now we're at the bins and today is gonna be a thrift with us, but it's gonna be a wee bit different than usual. The thrift with us, thrift with me it's okay 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 i'm getting ahead of myself it's just me today ryan is teaching that's the situation today is a thrift with me but it's a slightly bit different one than normal i'm gonna do kind of a normal thrift with me but since it's just me i'm sure it won't be a full like 30 minutes of thrift with me footage so i have been seeing a lot of comments lately asking me either what kinds of stuff i bring to my consignment store because i tell you guys that every time i go to the bins half of my stuff basically is for consignment store so a lot of people have been asking what kind of stuff i bring and actually Actually, some other people have been asking me to do a consignment store haul. So like strictly show my consignment store stuff and talk about what I kind of pick up and why and whatever. So at the end of this video, I'm going to do a consignment store haul of the stuff that I get here at the bins today to bring to the consignment store this week. I make one or two consignment store runs every single week to a consignment store called Turnstile. It's a traditional one where you bring stuff in and you get money when it sells so that allows them to take more than maybe a style encore play-dohs or clothes mentor but you have to wait for the payment so there's the benefit of they take more of the stuff usually but the downside of waiting for the payment but there's also the plus side of i think you end up getting more Either way, today I'm gonna be hopefully getting a lot of good consignment source stuff. That would be kind of sad if we had like a flop bins run and I got like nothing for the consignment store. I almost always get a lot. Like even on days where I don't get much for me to sell, I can usually find quite a bit of good consignment store stuff. I am gonna, I think in the thrift with me footage, I'm gonna show you guys the stuff that I'm getting for me to sell since it will never end up being hauled. And then I'll show you like the weird, the fun, the funky, the whatever. And then after, I'll show you the consignment store stuff. So I hope that you guys followed along with all of that that I just said. If you are not interested in consignment store items at all, I guess once we're done with the thrift with me, you can just like head out and I'll see you later. But if you're interested in the things that I bring into my consignment store, stick around. I do have a lot of luck with consignment stores. Mine sells through a lot of my stuff. They take almost everything from me. I have really like sharpened and fine-tuned my eye for like the type of stuff that at least my consignment store takes so I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm gonna go into the bins so wish me luck I have a feeling it won't be as good as last week because that would be nearly impossible because that was one of my best runs ever but wish me luck hopefully we find some good stuff All right, right away we are greeted by an oldie, but not a goodie. Does anyone else remember when Rock Revival was like the it thing along with Miss Me jeans and they could sell so well for so much? Right next to the rocks, I found this Zara hoodie and I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do with it. I don't think I'm gonna sell it myself. I'll probably give it to Debbie, but I definitely could bring this to the consignment store if I wanted as well. Oh, and speaking of the evil younger sister, here is a pair of Miss Me jeans, just one bin down from Rock Revival. In 2017, I would have gold. So I love the pattern of this handmade dress. It's a bunch of hats, and I like the style too, but unfortunately it's very poorly made, and there's this weird tulle layer under it, so I'm gonna have to skip this. And I guess she made two of them because this pattern is also quite cute, but I don't like the top to this one at all, and this one is also not that well made. Now, if this was vintage, I would totally grab it, but it has this flaw at the neck, and it's also quite modern. I did a reverse image search, so I'm not going to be grabbing this. I found this silk made in Italy top that I'm fairly certain is just from TJ's or something, but I'm gonna give it a Google anyways. And then I also found this nice leather bag, and this is actually by the brand Reed Krakow, which is quite expensive, and it actually is accepted by the Real Real, so that's probably what I will do with it, even with its flaws. I think they'll take it. 
I was hoping this would be vintage and I would have sold it myself, but it's not, so I will still grab it for Ryan to sell. A shoe rotation just happened and this is what I grabbed. So I found this really adorable Ted Baker crossbody bag and I saw it roll out and I knew I had to run and grab it and I did. And then I've also seen other people pick up this brand before. I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but I'm gonna give it a Google and see if it's worth anything. I found these Corso Comos that I thought were in great shape until I filmed this clip and saw the tips and instantly threw them back because yikes. These were by a brand that I had never heard of, and I also only found one anyways, but I liked the heel, and I actually found the other one later and found out that this brand is worth nothing, and then this is a pair of Zara. These were men's, but I never found the other one. They weren't in that great of shape anyways, so that's fine. I also had grabbed this scarf and actually hadn't found a label on it yet because I was just trying to quickly grab stuff and it turned out to be Kate Spade and it's really, really cute. There's a disco ball and pictures of horses and birds and stars. It's so adorable. Here we have an example of something I would have loved to grab for the consignment store, but it's just not in that good of shape. It's a Sam Edelman wool coat, so they probably would have marked it really high, but again, the condition is just not great. Am I gonna collab with Peppa Pig? No! I found a Snorlax, and he's new with Tag. He's totally for me. Little card update in the front, here's the stuff for me to sell, so I do not have much yet. This is my consignment pile so far, it's quite a lot. I have a few things to Google hanging on the side, and my Google pile in the back is quite big. I'm quite excited to look this up, it's called Hash or Hash, or Hatch, and it's in Italian sizing and it's made of wool, so I have a good feeling about it. It looks like my feeling was correct. It does appear to be a designer brand. Maybe not super, super high resale value, but that's fine. I accidentally threw these and I saw the label as they were flying through the air into the bin across from me, so I'm running over to grab them. I found a pair of Supreme sneakers. It is a collaboration with a brand called Sasquatch Fabrics. And it seems these shoes are one of the most valuable pieces from the collaboration. I'm so glad I finally found something good today. Another rotation just happened and here are the things I grabbed. I found this Madewell skirt. It's kind of a chambray fabric and it has this nice tie detail and button detail to the front so I will sell that myself. This is another skirt and it's by a bolo brand called Scoop. We have talked about this in the past in a bolo list before. It actually does really really well. It's like an outdoorsy puffer skirt brand. I also found this really nice pair of leggings. It is by Sweaty Betty, which I almost never find, so I'm really excited to find these. I also love the color and the print to them. Then I found a few things for consignment, which I will show you later. And then I found this Madewell tank top, which <laughs> with the day I'm having today, this is actually a good find for me today. And then I also found this Jade Gel that at first I was gonna put in my consignment pile, but I do really like the bottom border to it. It's kind of like Norwegian. So I may actually sell that myself. And then I did find one other Madewell, but as filming this, I realized how stained it was, so bye. I thought I would let you guys watch me do some digging and see if you guys spot something that I possibly miss. The bins have just not been that great for me today, at least for things for me to sell. I think this Banana Republic's cute and it's probably gonna go in my consignment pile, but I actually will look it up for myself first. But as I was saying, I just haven't been finding much for me to sell, so I'm kind of glad that this is gonna be a consignment haul coming from this trip versus a haul of stuff for me to sell because I think it would be a bit lackluster. I feel like I don't always find something while doing these clips, but I actually found this Patagonia while filming this clip. And no, it is not planted. I didn't see this until I was filming. So yay for one other thing for me to sell.
Alrighty, so another rotation happened and it was probably the best one yet, so let me show you guys what I found for me to sell. This, I'm sure you can guess the brand on it, it is Lily Pulitzer, it's also an XL, and I think this is very, very pretty, so I'm gonna sell this myself, even though usually I don't sell Lily anymore, I can sign it. This blazer is so nice, it's actually like a tuxedo top, and it has this really cool print throughout it. I was trying to figure out what the brand was, and the only label in it was this, and I did find out later it's a brand called Stitched, and it's not worth that much money, so I skipped this one, but as you'll see, there was another one coming up that was made with Ermena Gilda Zenya wool that I am getting. Here is the other one, and this one is also very, very nice. It is a plaid, kind of oxblood colored blazer, and this one is once again that stitched label, the stitched collection, and this one, as I said earlier, is Ermena Gilda Zenya wool, so I will be getting this one. I'm still trying to get better at these clips because I just covered you guys, and I think this is not the last time that I cover you guys up. Next up is a Lafayette 148 jacket. It does need some cleaning around the neck, but that is totally fine. I think it's actually pretty cute with this ruffle detail and it's fully zip up the front, so I will probably try to sell this myself. Lately, now that I'm more active on eBay, my Lafayette 148 has been doing pretty decent on there, so I try to sell it myself instead of sending it to the real real. I also found a good amount of anthro pieces. This is a Maeve dress. It's kind of this polka dot tiered layered dress. I will actually probably consign that because it is a bit older and it's not a style that I'm super into. The next anthro piece is this tank top. It's just kind of a tiered lace detail tank top and it's actually just by Anthropology. It's a size large though, so I will try to sell that myself since it's a better size. I found this Free People Intimately sweatshirt, and it is a lace detail sweatshirt with slightly puffed sleeves and this open back to it. I think this is really cute, and I was pretty excited to find it. Another Free People piece is this more classical, like, boho Free People blouse with the normal Free People label. It's actually sleeveless, but I really like the print on it, and I think it'll do quite well. Another top that I'm sure you can guess the brand of, and it is Lily Pulitzer once again, but it's another XL piece, and I can just tell that this is a newer label, so I actually think I will sell this one myself as well. Again, I like the print, and both pieces were in really, really good shape. Another Free People piece, it's this nice rose printed sweatshirt. It has some bleach spots, but that's okay. Another rotation is underway. My best find of this rotation is this pair of pants, and these are by Lululemon, which I'm trying to show you guys on this little pull string, but I'm not having the best luck. But that is the only way that I knew that these were Lulu. I couldn't find a label anywhere else, and of course, the tag was cut out. Classic. I had also found this floral loft puffer vest, which I was actually considering selling myself, but looking up comps, I decided I will just consign this, I think. And then I found a Fairly Odd Parents Timmy Turner card. Heck yeah. Well, unfortunately, I am already headed out, guys. All I have is basically everything that I showed you. There is very few more that I grabbed besides what you guys saw. This top basket was the stuff that's for me to sell, and it is not very much. And the bottom is the consignment. So in a second, I will show you the consignment stuff. I do have quite a bit of that. Okay, so welcome to the next day for me, but actual Tuesday when you guys are seeing this, and I have my consignment store finds haul for you guys. So like I said in the intro, I have had a number of questions over the past couple weeks, honestly, but especially lately when I've been saying what do you guys want to see, there's been a lot of people leaving comments saying that they want to see either a video talking about what I get for the consignment store, or there have been people specifically asking for a consignment store haul. So that is what I'm here to give you guys. The bins haul yesterday, as you guys did just see in the clips was not the best for me personally like stuff for me to sell myself or stuff for the real real I really didn't find that much I got maybe like half of a basket of stuff and I also had grabbed a few things for Ryan and a few things for Debbie so even that half a basket was not fully stuff for me I did find those supreme shoes so that was kind of like a win but besides that 
I don't really think there was anything that great of note. Before I jump into the little bit of a haul, which just so you guys know, I'll move quicker than usual. I don't need to show you every detail because I'm not selling these. These are going to consignment. I'm just going to show you what it is and why I got it. But before I get into those things, there were a couple of points that I wanted to make really quick about my mindset for consigning and for grabbing stuff for consignment stores. So first off, the first thing is when I say, and I think that I even said this in some of the clips you just saw, when in hauls I say, I'm gonna sell this myself. I feel like that confuses some people. What I mean is I'm gonna sell it myself and not consign it. Usually when I say that about something, it's a piece by a brand that I would usually consign, say JJ, Chill. J. Crew, Madewell, I don't know, stuff like that, I will say, I'm gonna sell this myself. And I mean, I'm not gonna consign it, I'm gonna try it myself. Also, a big thing with consignment stores is definitely not only brand, brand is kind of pretty important with consignment stores, styles is very important, age is very important, usually things have to be within the past few years, so that's why date tags can really help. Season can be important, and you need to check with your local consignment store whether that's important or not. I know with clothes mentors, season is always important. Like you can't bring in a sweater like in May or June, they won't take it. But luckily with turnstile, I can get spring stuff now and they will take it. But you need to check with the consignment store you're gonna go to, the weight of the item, especially if you're bins shopping. Well, I assume for consignment stores you are bin shopping, but the weight of the item is quite important. There is a number of stuff that I will skip that I totally would get for a consignment store, but it's just like too heavy. I don't want to spend five, six, seven dollars on it if it's like three pounds, so I skip it. You need to keep those things in mind when you are strictly consignment store shopping at the bins. There are certain brands that I do get consistently for consignment stores that I would not dare sell myself. Altered State, I've noticed consignment stores around here do take quite a bit, so I I kind of grab almost all of it for them. For turnstile, Under Armour is very popular in our area, so they actually do take a lot of Under Armour. Loft, I get a lot. J Jail, I get a lot, and I don't sell either of those myself very often. So stuff like that. Definitely, like, learn the brands that the consignment stores take quite frequently and stick to grabbing them if they do consistently take them from you. And last little, like, pointer before we get into the actual items is learn the no-nos of your local consignment store or the one you're gonna use. I have very very strange specific ones that I've noticed with mine. They will not take cold shoulder pieces. I've actually heard them say that they will not take any cold shoulder items. They seem to stay away from Lucky Brand. I don't know why, but every time I bring in Lucky Brand, I end up taking it back home. They've taken a few, and I think I actually got one or two pieces in this haul, so oops. But for the most part, they seem like they skip it. And then my consignment store seems to not like jumpsuits. Every time I bring a jumpsuit in, I end up bringing it back home. Rego over the items that you are taking home every time and kind of take mental notes of like trends and things you're seeing more often, brands you're seeing quite frequently because maybe it's just something that they're told by corporate not to take. Anyways, let's get into the actual stuff. Like I said, I'm gonna obviously go quite a bit faster than I would in a normal haul because you guys don't need to know the size and stuff. Just kind of like my reasoning and what it is. So the first item I did show in the clips, I believe that you just saw, this is a loft piece. It's a size small, and I actually was gonna get this to sell myself, but the comps just weren't that good. So luckily I have the option of consigning it. It is this floral puffer vest. I can just tell it's quite a bit newer. I just need to wash it. And honestly, normally I don't get anything that needs any work for consignment stores, but this is cute enough that I'm okay with washing it and then it'll be perfectly fine. But obviously a puffer jacket is great for this season. And honestly, floral probably would have been good for spring or fall as well. Then we have a pair of jeans and these are by Mavi, Mavi Gold. So Mavi is like a slightly expensive jeans brand. It is sold at Ever Eve and it is sold at Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack and stuff. It's not like worth a ton, but retail it's decently expensive. These have this really cute silver stripe down the side. So I thought they would do good. I know that they're skinny, which is kind of a no-no nowadays, but I don't know. I do think that they will take these from me. Maybe at some point I should make like an updated video of what they took. I'm pretty good with my turn style and I feel like they take almost everything I bring in, luckily. Then we have another pair of jeans and these are actually by Gap. And Gap is a great brand that shows the age and the year they were made on the inside. And these were made in 2019, but the end of 2019. So I thought that was pretty current. And these are also skinny, but they also have a fun stripe going down the side and they're raw hem and they're in fantastic shape which is another thing, which I 
think I left out of my little list, but for consignment stores, I stick to like new condition. If there is any flaw, any bit of pilling, any light stain, I do not get it. Every time that I miss one and I come home from the consignment store and I'm like, oh my gosh, there was a rip down the seam. I am like so embarrassed. I'm like, Ugh, what was I doing? Try to just stick to like new or new with tag condition. This is a pair of J. Crew Mercantile shorts and they're just some cute like board shorts almost. They probably are men's and luckily turnstile takes men's, but pay attention to that as well. Like clothes mentor and style encore, they do not take men's. So pay attention to what yours takes. We have another pair of jeans and these are actually by Current Elliot which I just don't have luck with myself and the real real does not mark very high. So I'm gonna try these at the consignment store. These are not the most modern style, being leopard print and being skinny, but with the brand like Current Elliot, I think that they will still take it. Nowadays with like values of certain brands, I feel like like Theory, Current Elliot, J Brand, some of those ones that used to be pretty sought after and expensive, Seven for All Mankind and stuff. I bring that stuff to the consignment store now because like it's still a designer brand and it's still retails for a lot. It just doesn't have the following it used to. So those are good, good brands to consign. Then we have a shirt and this is by Brooks Brothers, which again is a very high retail. It's a size small and this is a button up shirt with stripes and it has these flowers down it. It's not too boring. It's not just striped. It has the like added fun of the roses. So that's why I grabbed that. This is a skirt that I thought was really, really pretty. And it's actually like fully pleated and super flowy. And this is by Loft. Loft is a brand that I grab for consignment stores a lot. It's a size small. I don't know why someone like scribbled it out. I believe they'll still take it. I do know a weird thing is that Clothes mentors, at least the one near me, says that they will not take things with a mark on the label, which I'm like, why? <laughs> like, who are you? Like, even the real, real will, why, huh? This is Banana Republic. I'm sure this is, actually, it's a woman's. It's a size 12, so it's definitely woman's, but it's a floral button-up shirt. I do stray away from button-up shirts. I know it doesn't seem like it so far, but usually I do not grab much for button-up shirts because they just don't take them as often. But I guess I just found a few cute ones this time. I really like this floral print. And again, like a good mall brand. I grab a lot of Banana Republic for consignment stores. This is a sweatshirt that is fully like leopard printed and this is actually loft size medium. Short sleeve sweatshirt. Next is another loft piece and it's a size, I don't know why I'm saying the size, size extra small. <laughs> it's a ruffle puff sleeve floral blouse and this has to be within the last few years. I actually think I've had this before and it's funny because you know that you've consigned a lot when you start to recognize certain pieces that you haven't sold. So this is from 2021. So it is very modern. There is like no reason, period, that they wouldn't take this. So that's the kind of stuff I love to grab where it's like, I'm nearly 100% sure they'll take it. And it also weighs nothing. This is actually by a brand called Mystery. I don't know that brand. And I will stray from brand specific if it's really, really cute, which is what I felt about this. It's just like a floral blouse. And again, I know there are brands that they don't, like they specifically do not take. Like they don't take Target. They don't take Walmart brands. They don't take Shein. They don't take Boohoo. Just like the fast fashion brands. So then I don't, like if it's cute, it's still a no. But if it's just like a boutique or TJ Maxx or something brand and it's cute, I will still grab it. This is Ann Taylor, another good mall brand. Floral shorts, thank goodness they take spring or else I would not have grabbed those. This is a sweater, super cute and again, in really great shape. There is no pilling or anything. And this is actually Torrid and Torrid just hasn't been doing as good for me lately. So I have been consigning it actually quite a bit. A lot of my tour that I had in my closet, I ended up consigning as well. This is Billabong, which is more of a like TJ Maxx brand, honestly, but this is a men's piece. It's some shorts that say Billabong right there. I've noticed my turnstile is less picky with men's, like brand wise, because they just don't get as much in. So as long as it's like good condition, good quality, like that, they will take it. This I need to lint roll, but I just think that they'll mark it pretty decent, so I did grab it. It is Ann Taylor and it's cashmere. There's no holes, no pilling. It just needs like a lint roll. So I'm gonna give that one a shot. Again, great for the season. Like I said, Under Armour is quite popular at mine, so I got this Under Armour polo top, just striped. That's all there is to it. 
the great thing about consigning is not only obviously like the little bit of extra money but also like this whole it's a full ikea bag this full ikea bag is not going to be put into a like the dump now which is great then we have this striped kind of like textured hoodie and this is by lewin gray for loft and it's an I'm so used to saying the size. It's an extra small. And this is in great shape. This is great for spring and great for winter, fall, and summer and everything. We have another cashmere piece. And this is Charter... Oh, I, yeah, Charter Club, which is probably what? Just like Macy's or Kohl's or something. But since it's cashmere and since it's men's, I am going to give it a shot and see if they take it. There are no holes. Needs maybe a little bit of lint rolling once again. I just think because it's cashmere that they'll take it. Here is one of my Lucky Brands. And I think I see the other ones. So maybe I'll show that too. So it's Lucky Brand. And this is actually 100% silk. So I have a little bit of a better feeling about this one. It's also cute. It's got the like ruffle tiered sleeve cuffs and some ruffles up here. I think because it's silk, they'll probably take it. But I could be wrong. Here's the other Lucky Brand. This one is in really great shape and it is a really, really soft Chanel sweater. I think this one's just so seasonal, like seasonally appropriate, and it's so soft that I feel like they'll take it. <laughs> I don't know. I hope I'm right. Then we have Not Your Daughter's Jeans. So this is a brand, another example of a brand that I consistently get to consign, but I would never sell myself. So this consignment store, Turnstile, loves Not Your Daughters, and they market really, really well. And I've heard that from other people. I have a friend, Nick, I'm sure a lot of you guys know him. He also will bring stuff to a Turnstile quite frequently, and his also loves Not Your Daughters jeans. So I grabbed these for them. This is one, again, where I'm like nearly 100% sure they'll take it. It is a Lily Pulitzer, it's an extra large, and it is a shirt dress. Classic Lily, great condition. They'll probably mark it really well. I probably would get more there than I would even selling it myself. Here's one that I will consign a lot too. This is actually Eileen Fisher. I've been trying a few of the wool pieces myself recently, but for the most part, I'm still consigning like all of it. Eileen Fisher, this is a size large. And it's like this slubbed cotton top. I see no reason that they wouldn't take this from me and also mark it up. That's one I've noticed with Clothes Mentor. They mark Eileen super high. And of course, Clothes Mentor is a pay out right away place. So that's a great thing to bring to them. Next up is actually a Target piece. Now I know I just said that they don't take Target. Size large, which doesn't matter. Men's Goodfellow Target, but it's new with tags. Perfect for the season. So my thought process is it's men's, which they're less picky with. New tags, which is a total, total perk. Consignment stores love new tags and it's great for the season so they know it'll sell probably pretty quick so i think i think they'll take that we'll see we have another loft and this is like a poncho i like to bring them like kimonos and ponchos they usually always take them i think i brought them like <laughs> three of them last week this is also loft really pretty this is probably also a pretty current piece i would guess let's see if we can tell there is no age in this one no year but great shape and it's a really cute print that I could see them doing pretty recently. So I'm sure that's pretty recent. This is actually really, really adorable. This is Express size. <sighs> Take a shot every time Jack says size, <laughs> even though it doesn't matter. It is kind of a puffed sleeve, like jersey. Um, I feel like there's a name to this style with the like stripes on the bottom and the cuffs. But this is really cute. I love the color. I love the details of the stripes. And again, great, perfect, like new condition. This is a pair of Banana Republic pants that I was considering actually selling myself, but I'm gonna bring into them. They're the Avery. And I'm not gonna sell it myself because they're a zero petite. My consignment store that I'm bringing this to is quite picky with petite. So I'm just hoping they'll take these. If they don't, I might list them myself, but we'll see. They're a recent style and they're really, really cute. This is a Lulu's piece. I never sell Lulu's myself anymore, but I do consign it quite a bit. And this is just like a belted shirt dress that I thought was really, really cute. Then we have a new tag piece and this might be men's. It's a size large and it's by Express. And this is this striped chunky knit sweater. 
And yeah, I have a feeling it's men's. It even has the sticker that says large because it just seems quite a bit bigger than a woman's large, but that's a 100% they will take it piece. This is Maeve and with like better brands, like, like the ones I just said, like J Brand, Kern Elliott, that stuff, Anthro, Free People, even J Crew, they will take some older pieces. So this is an older Anthro piece, but I still believe they will take this. I don't think I could have the most luck selling it, but at least I can do something with it. Here's another kind of example of that. This is J. Crew, Just a like thinner sweater. I could never ever sell this myself, but I'm sure they'll take it. Again, it's very seasonally appropriate. Another older Anthro piece, Knitted and Knotted. And I think I've seen this piece before. It's like ruched at the top and kind of flared at the bottom. Again, it's kind of like dated and I don't think that I could sell it, but I think that they will take it. So this is Nasty Gal. And that is the only like fast fashion brand I've seen them take, which makes sense because from my own knowledge and experience, Nasty Gal is the only like fast fashion brand that can sell. So it's just like a cream sweater. Again, great for the season. So I don't see why they wouldn't take it. Here's an example of another brand that I have no clue where it's from. It might just be like TJ's. It's called Cloud Chaser. And this is just such a cute style that I'm sure they'll take it. Varsity. Varsity. It's like varsity style. That's what that express sweater was. I just remembered it's called varsity. But this is like a teddy quarter zip. Really cute. If that was a different brand, I would love to sell that. Okay, a couple more. Another brand I don't know, Riley and Ray. No clue. But this is adorable. It's got ruffled sleeves and this very vibrant, pretty floral throughout. And though it's kind of like a button-up shirt, it's much softer and more flowy. This is, again, not your daughter's jeans, and they actually make things besides jeans like this. So Mac and Simon Store takes anything by them, and I don't see why they wouldn't take this. It seems like brand new. This is that Banana Republic dress that I showed you in the thrift with me, and it is like a tweed textured baucle bousel baucle belted dress really good shape the label's like a little older but i think the style the style will carry that one and last it's just an ann taylor sweater factory but honestly i don't care about like factory versus non-factory cute mock neck cute color great shape i don't see why they wouldn't take it i should somehow like update you guys on how much they take of this stuff i'm trying to think of how Maybe in like What's Old Saturday? Yeah, maybe I could buy What's Old Saturday. Maybe I'll set up an appointment to bring in all of this stuff at once. And then in What's Old Saturday, I'll tell you how many pieces I left with, which I will have to count how many I got. But I think I got a good amount of stuff for consigning. And I think this is a good set, a good like batch. <laughs> That's a good batch. So I will update you guys on how much they take of this, but I'm sure they'll take quite a bit. And yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. I wish I had more for you. I wish I had more Thrift With Me footage and something maybe more entertaining. Hopefully if there are any of you still here who were interested in seeing this, hopefully this is like what you were looking for. This is basically the type of stuff that I get every time. There are some boutique brands that are cute. There are anthro pieces I just don't think I can sell myself. There are tons of mall brands. That's like my heaviest thing is mall brands is like that's mainly what i get and yeah this is basically what i get every time so when you see that pile in my cart in the thrift with me that's what's in it this type of stuff <laughs> so i will see you guys on saturday for a regular what's on saturday ryan will be here and i will see you on saturday bye